There's something wrong in the overnight settlement markets that exposes an underlying weakness in the economy. And I want to spend a little bit of time with this one. Now, we've discussed repo markets a lot this year, and for good reason, because they can get a little confusing. Now, the one we typically focus on is the overnight repurchase agreements in the temporary open market operations. And the best way to think about this is as a casino. The Fed is the house. It stakes the players and runs the games and has the ability to lend money to players on a losing run. So every night, trades settle out from the day between buyers and sellers. And most of the major financial institutions, banking and non-banking firms alike, settle through clearing houses and what's called tri-party transactions or directly, which are bilateral. Now, sometimes there's so much money changing hands that the counterparty or the clearing house that's putting up the cash will borrow money to make sure there's enough to go around. Now, let's take a look at the chart below to try and explain everything. There's something called SOFR, which is the secured overnight funds rate. This rate is a composite of market rates from institutions that supply liquidity to the market to facilitate the settlement of trades. Now, when the SOFR rate exceeds the federal funds rate, it's sometimes interpreted as a sign of stress in the market, meaning that liquidity is tight. There's not enough money going around. So funding sources look for a premium. And when this happens, large financial firms that are eligible to transact with the Federal Reserve directly will collateralize tre treasuries directly with the Fed at a standing repo facility rate. Now, in 2025, this has occurred more frequently than it has since 2020 during COVID, which is leading some to wonder if there is underlying stress in the market and a tightening of liquidity. The bottom, bottom line here, this shouldn't be happening at all. And we keep reporting like, oh my gosh, it happened again. Oh my gosh, it happened again. It's still happening. There is a persistent problem somewhere in the market that means that these rates are just getting out of control and the Fed is having to deal directly with these counterparties to make sure that these transactions get settled. There's something brewing and it's just below the surface. That's not good.